money. He's run into Lo Xing Fung's hands so many times at this table, and yet Lo's kind of almost in the even area. Grant Levy, are you surprised by anything you've seen so far? Oh, not really. I mean, the unpredictable nature of uh, the guys from Macau, uh, like I said, they bring a lot of value to the table, but you know, if they start card racking or hitting, hitting some hands, there's going to be some big pots and someone's going to get coolered or be on the receiving end of a beat. And that has been the case today. Well, you can see here, Fuas picked up pocket tens and he's involved. Lowe's also involved. And of course, the other end of it, Paul, is when they get legitimate hands like this, they're kind of hard to believe. Well, Ike choosing not to get involved this time. Neither does Doug Polk. And these two will go heads up. Anything could happen. 7-8 of clubs versus pocket 10s. And the flop is a 10-9 deuce flop. Well, yeah, anything can happen. Guaranteed, Paul, this is going to be a big pot. A draw against top set. These guys have obviously played together a lot as well. It looks like a bet and a call. Check. The turn is a six, so the straight's there now. So... A dominant set of tens gets crushed on the turn. Okay, now let's just count how many chips they have in front, Paul, because that's about how big the pot's going to get by the end of it. All those plaques, all those orange chips and blue chips, Look at they're going to find their way into the middle here. <laughs> he just leaned over and looked at the amount of chips he had. He's holding the nuts at this stage, and he leaned over and looked at his stack and said, how much of that can I get? And Paul Foix <laughs> like, okay, you can take all of this, no problems. I've got top set. I love these guys. They're the most entertaining players I've seen in such a long time. Fua still has a set of tens. It's a monster hand. <laughs> I'm not sure what to make of this, but I'm pretty sure Lo was just... Named. Oh, wow. All in? He announces all in. Massive overshove. Seven. <laughs> Mark the eight can of four. <laughs> Low can't believe it. Just casually eating oh, his noodles. In, uh, six nine. Pocket six. Call. Wow, he's just called. I can't wait to see how big this pot is. It's almost a million dollars in the middle. He has called with top set. Oh, seven it. Oh, <laughs> well, what else, what else can you say after losing a pot of... Well, he hasn't lost yet. How many outs has he got, Grant? Ten? Yeah, well, he's got uh, three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, he's got ten outs. Ten outs to the river. How many times would you like to... You might You got your question. Wait, though. Four hundred... How much I bet on the turn? Four hundred. They're trying to figure out how much... Nine hundred eight. 880. Is in the middle. We can tell you it's pretty close to a million, and we had that figured out on the on the flop. <laughs> well, they should have had that discussion a little bit earlier, perhaps. Now there's a million dollars in the middle. I mean, the hand plays itself, Paul. The straight versus top set. <laughs> Running it once or twice, sorry. Once. Yeah, once please, Fua says. He's a big underdog here. Pure gamble. Pure gamble from Fua. Running it once? Uh, they were discussing whether they wanted to run it twice. Yes. Two, six, one. Okay. Deuce. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the river is an ace of hearts, and that decides an amazing pot of almost $1 million will go to Lo Xing Fung. He turned a straight and crushed Fua's set of tens. Incredible. That is just incredible. Grant Levy is sitting aside me, and I can almost tell that you're as stunned as I am. Ah, oh, that's pretty to watch. Just a massive cooler. And all the guys are actually sitting on the table thinking, well, he's got a million, I'm going to get every single chip out of his stack.